Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and flip for a profit. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. I'm going to tell you where she got it, what she paid for it, and what it sold for. And who am I talking about? Who am I featuring? I am featuring Thriftaholic. And this is her YouTube channel. She is a new to YouTuber new to YouTube. And she is incredible. Definitely go and subscribe to her channel. Let's see how many subscribers we can get her. Go check out a video and tell her that Bolo Buddies sent you in the comments. All right. She's currently at 52 subscribers, you guys. So show her some love. This is her eBay store and she's got lots of great items. So be sure to check it out down below. And when you go into her eBay store, you can follow her by clicking on the heart and saving her as a seller. The first item she sold is incredible. It's this ultra rare antique vintage Grenfell Labrador Industries uh, stuffed wool penguin. And she got this at a church flea market for $3 and took a best offer of $350. Here's the tag. Check it out. Anything vintage and stuffed, look it up because you just never know you may have a gem. And this was definitely a gem. Strolls lighted with motion, fire brewed beer wall sign. She got this at an online auction for 25 and sold it for 150 plus shipping. H Huntsman Sons LTD men's suit, size 42, herringbone cuffed, two pleat pants. She got this at the Goodwill for $12.95 and took a best offer of $135 plus shipping. This is a vintage wood carving spirit. I think it's supposed to say Madonna. I think she told me it, that was a typo. Not head tree log home cabin folk art. And she got this at an antique mall for $5. She started the auction at $30 and it sold for $131.50 plus shipping. This is a Yasuko Kurosaka cardigan, earth tone textured, lag and look, 100% cotton, one button, little cardigan. And this one she got at a church thrift shop for a dollar and sold it for 115 plus shipping. So she does clothing, you guys. You're not going to get that from me. Cityscape art by Scott Dalmerpel or something like that. Signed 2013. You guys can read it right there. I don't know how to say his name. I apologize, but it is ink and marker. Really cool piece. She picked this up at the Goodwill for $3.99 and took a best offer of $85 plus shipping. This is a lot of vintage cards. She's got Valentine's, Christmas, baby shower, uh, let's see, birthday, just amazing, amazing cards. She sold these for $99. I'm guessing a reseller probably scooped these up because there is over 300 cards here. That is a steal of a deal. Uh, she got these at a consignment shop for $5 and sold them for $99 plus shipping. The next item is this sterling silver graduated, graduated, is that how you say that? bezel set. It's a tennis necklace. I know it means that the beads get small or small and get bigger, but I think of graduated like college, not, I, th I might be saying that wrong. Uh, let's see, where did she get this? She got this at a gold and silver store storefront and she bought it for 20 and sold it for a hundred. Lily Pulitzer Natalie cover-up shirt dress, size medium. This one came from the Goodwill, paid $9.99 for it and sold it for $96 on auction and the buyer paid shipping. This is an antique hand-stitched needlepoint bench cover and she got this at a church thrift shop for $3, took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. This is a thatched roof barn, JG Miniature Diorama Building. 
And this is what it looks like on the bottom. She got this at a thrift shop for $1.99 and sold it for a best offer of $65. I'm not sure I would have picked that up. So good to know. Brian Inger. Brian, Brian, oh goodness, that's hard to say. Brian Inger, and I'm probably not saying it right. Pottery Red Bear. Red Bear. Red Wear. Uh, paid $3 at a church thrift shop and sold it for $55 plus shipping. I'm Tina, the Thriftaholic. I have an eBay store and a YouTube channel. And I'm sharing my bolo for April. Um, this was inspired by Courtney's love of small toys. I picked up this Sam the Clam Fisher Price toy from 1977. He still have his eyes intact. These are only decals, so that to have him intact is kind of rare, I guess, which I only found out once I looked him up. He's a pool or tub toy. Um, I guess you use him in water and his little insides come out and there's a little squirt thing here. I assume he fills up with water and you can squirt your mom in the face or something. <laughs> so for 25 cents, I picked it up at a church sale and I flipped it on eBay for $28. Thanks for the tip, Courtney. This one here is a formal Neil Allen tuxedo wool with a tailcoat, size 46. So it is a bigger size. This is great for prom or a wedding. And she got this for $9.50 at the Goodwill. Took a best offer of $45 plus shipping. This one right here, I love it. It's a Claudine Bure or Buell signed metal purple crab. So it is only initialed on the back. Where was that? Right here. So she probably used Google Lens to figure this one out if I had to guess. Uh, Google Lens is fantastic for identifying things. If you're not using it, it's a free app on your phone. Get it and use it if you're a reseller. It's going to save you so much time. She got this for $2.99 at the Goodwill and sold it for $65 plus shipping. The next item here is this Boho Peasant Maxi Dress Floral Cottage Core 2X Hippie Groovy 70s Vibe. Bought it for $7.99 at the Goodwill. Took a best, oh, nope, I'm sorry. Sold it for 60 plus shipping. I don't know if she does best offer. Um, Moina beaded martini clutch evening bag. Look at the beads. How cute is that? This one she got at the Goodwill for $3.50. Took a best offer of 40. Vintage hand-painted ship wooden treasure chest storage box. This one... She got at a silent auction for $6 and sold it for $48. The Corel South Beach Dinner Plates Polka Dots Turquoise Set of Six paid $5 from a thrift shop and sold them for $45 plus shipping. This is a Fenton 50th anniversary bird. And let me show you here. There's the mark. And it is signed by Cutshaw. And you can see it says 50th anniversary right there. She got this at a auction. It was in a lot. So paid about $5 for it and sold the bird for $55 plus shipping. This is a 1-6 plate tin type of a young girl. Is she pregnant? Ornate frame with case. So she thought maybe she was pregnant based on the photo. I think she's got on a poofy dress and she's just holding her hands like that. But, you know, you never know. You never know with a picture. She paid $8 at a church sale and sold it for $45. Let me know in the comments. Do you think she's pregnant or do you think she's just holding her hands like that? All right. Ivory lace up granny ankle boots. How cute are these? Flapper girl women's shoes. Paid a dollar at a church flea market and sold for $48 plus shipping. The next item here is this vintage 1950s college Paris Eiffel Tower. Oh, I'm sorry. Collage. Paris Eiffel Tower hand-painted souvenir. And let's see, where did she get this? It's on a slice of wood. Uh, bought it at the Goodwill for a dollar and sold it for 48. Beyblade Mobile Bay Stadium, V-Force Travel Stadium. She got this for a quarter at a flea market, a church flea market, that is, and sold it for $25 plus shipping. The next item is this Storybook Knits um, cardigan. 
And she got this for $7.99 at the Goodwill and took a best offer of $40 plus shipping. This is a Pottery Barn Snowman Cruel. No, I'm sorry. It's not Cruel. I always wanted to say that. And everybody's like, no, it's like cruel. Like you're being cruel. Cruel embroidered pillow. See, somebody gave me the tip to remember how to say it. And I remembered. So woohoo to me. It's a pillow cover. Anything Pottery Barn. Look it up. Sold for $42. Bought at the Goodwill for three. This one here is a Shooting Stars Between the Lions DVD World of Learning reading TV show on PBS. But uh, let's see, bought at the library clean out for a dollar and sold it for 40. And you can see it, it says Parkland Community Library on it, and it still sold for big money. This is a piece of driftwood. It is a tree knot, walnut wood, natural and for crafting. People buy these for crafts. They make things out of them. Took a best offer of 28 and bought it for 25 cents at a church sale. The last item here is this cute little Jimboree blue blanket. And the reason I picked this is I feel like you can find this at garage sales all of the time. This is not a vintage item, I don't think. And, you know, somebody just may have been looking for something with a grasshopper on it or it's discontinued and somebody needed a replacement. Who knows? But she got it at the Goodwill for $2.99 and sold it for $30. And the buyer paid shipping. Again, that is Thriftaholic over on eBay and YouTube. I will have her link down in the description of the video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, let's see how many subscribers we can get. Go over to her channel and sub her up and tell her Bolo Buddy sent you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a video down below and a subscribe button. Um, if you're new here, let me know how you found the channel. And if you've been here for a while, thanks for coming back and thanks for watching.